Hi everyone and thank you for watching this month's reading for the sign of cancer. My monthly readings have previously only been posted on my Patreon site, however, I'm going to try to make this information public for a little while and see how it goes. With that being said, if you are watching this video, it has come into your sphere for a reason. My intention for this reading is to give you a moment and some space to take in a deep breath, relax your body, and tune into your own intuition. You are surrounded by angels, guides, guardians, ancestors, and loving light beings who only want the best for you. So as you open yourself up to guidance, it is my prayer that you hear, see, and understand what you need to at this time. December is a very important month. It is the last month of the year. Personally, I am guiding you to think about how you would like to wrap up 2022. There is still time to accomplish something or turn things around so that you can feel good about this year. It's an important time to tie up loose ends, create closure, and work on forgiving and healing the past so that you can enter into winter hibernation season in peace. The wheel turns to the north, Yule. This is a quiet time of introspection and rest, and I'm sending you all of my love as you honor the natural rhythms that tell us to slow down and observe. Let's see what the cards have to say for Cancer in December 2022. I'm using the self-care oracle and of course my deck, the Modern Mystic Tarot, to give us clarity, comfort, and information for the month of December 2022. So I'm going to start with that first card that I picked here. This gives us an overall view of your month. And there's a few things I'm going to point out here for you, Cancer. It's number 44, so if you see fours or eights, which is four plus four, I just want you to know that that's your angel saying hello to you and they're validating the things that you're hearing in this reading. This card is so beautiful and it says, remember your purpose. You came to earth to learn how to love yourself and all that is, to achieve self-mastery, to explore conscious co-creation. Heaven res resides in your heart. So what I'm feeling from this card and you is that this is a very deep month for you you're really looking at wanting to deepen your connection to your own purpose, to, um, you know, the higher beings, to um, the cosmos, to your angels. You're just wanting more out of life. You want to come out of the mundane stuff and you want depth and uh, magic in your life. And so I hope that you do see lots of fours this month. Because that's really fun when you do get to see validation. I, I think that this would be a month that you would want to really stay open to a lot of signs around you, not just numbers, but pay attention to repetitive music, you know, songs that you just hear over and over. Kind of common during the holidays to hear the same Christmas song. So <laughs> keep that in mind. But especially like if you wake up with a song in your head, you might want to look at the lyrics or you know, if you happen to have the same conversation with, some, you know, several people or if something keeps coming up to you several times, definitely more than three times, um, you want to take a look at that. Um, you're very connected. Your heart is very open this month. And so let's see what that means as far as details. Wow. You start December with the wheel card. This is talking about a turn for the better. Fortune is on your side and to be optimistic. So you're really in kind of um, the midst of change. And what's so great about this particular kind of change is that you're coming out of maybe a hard time or some unclarity. Um, maybe uh, I'm hearing this, the phrase bumbling around. Maybe you just haven't really had a lot of sight or a, a goal or like a North Star. And as the month begins, I think that you start to get this vision for yourself, maybe create a goal um, or just life kind of starts to, to pick up for you in a really positive way. Fortune on your side, this might mean that as the month uh, begins, you see a little bit more money in your bank account and or, or maybe the prospect of some more money coming. Safety and security definitely being a part of the theme for you um, towards the beginning of the month. And I think that when you feel safe and secure in your financial life, you can kind of relax and then start to um, ponder in more deep and spiritual ways. 
going into the middle of the month, we have the emperor. So you're going to be very busy towards the middle of the month. You are wanting to step into some sort of a leadership position. If you are wanting to start your own business or you are your own boss in any way, um, things are going really well for you. Um, this is really about the importance of being organized and preparing for success. Again, you've had a lot of changes going on. Now it's time to really honor those changes by being organized and um, dedicated and disciplined and maybe start a really good routine in your life that helps you um, that, that, that creates a container for success to happen. And so it, it just seems like you're using a lot of your own like common sense and practical magic, if you will, to create um, a structure for you that allows success to happen. So that's really exciting. And then towards the end of the month. So first of all, before I go any further, you've got three major arcana cards out here. So this is a pretty big month for you. Um, you definitely are aligning more and more to your passion and your purpose. You are definitely having some major things happen. And especially towards the end of the month here, we've got the tower card. So this um, is talking about some sort of unexpected event, but that it leads to powerful insight and change. So it's interesting that you come into the month of cancer with a lot of changes. There's a very stable, consistent part of the month where you're just going along with this change. And then we have another powerful uh, change that happens at the end of the month. To give you more details, it kind of feels like these are things that you have put into motion. You've made decisions and you've said, you know what, I need to I need to change the way that I am. I need to become more disciplined, more organized, more consistent, uh, more grounded and look at life in a, a kind of a more practical way. And then it's almost like life changes for you after you make those decisions. Now, this uh, change that happens towards the end of the month for you that is actually what leads you into some very powerful insights and epiphanies and really aligns you even more to your purpose. So um, I feel like this is a lot of self mastery. It's a lot of um, building your own um, character, if you will. Um, and even though these are very intense, big cards that are telling you to stay grounded and do the work, and create a step-by-step -step structure to where you can be like successful. It's all because you love yourself and you love what you're doing and your heart is open and you want to be successful in some way. I'm going to get some clarification here for you, Cancer. Um, definitely just apply what, you know, these messages are into whatever area of your life they, they seem to. Oh my gosh, another major arcana card here. So um, this is the traditions card. So the changes that you're making at the beginning of the month have to do with your spirituality. It's maybe you're becoming more consistent with your meditations, with a yoga practice, with um, taking time out for yourself. There's a lot of ways that you can practice spirituality during the day. Uh, myself, even just before I start work in the morning, I light a candle and just you know, tap in and I, I create an intention for the day of what I'm going to be accomplishing. To me, that's spiritual. Um, you know, so whatever body, mind um, or heart connection that you're making, it's almost like you are really using your spiritual tools. Maybe you're using crystals, maybe you're using herbs, whatever that is, you're relying on magical um, spiritual things to help you stay grounded and consistent and um, organized. Let's go into clarify the emperor. We've got the five of fire. So one of the, re and this is the only minor arcana that we've had. So this is kind of not the biggest deal, but it is going to probably come up towards the middle of the month. As you can see, there's people that are kind of <clears throat> in a little bit of a conflict. There's some sort of a disagreement or competition um, that happens. This reminds me of like just um, it, the the energy I'm picking up from this is like it's not fair and it's kind of whiny to be honest. Um, it's something that you probably shouldn't take too seriously. Somebody else gets triggered probably because you're like on the ball all of a sudden, and it's hard if the people around you are used to being able to be lazy or not as forthright and all of a sudden you're like you know what i i gotta get stuff done 
maybe it triggers other people. I don't know. But whatever there is, there's a little bit of a conflict that happens in the middle of the month. But I will tell you, paired with the emperor, this just tells me that it's not really a big deal to you. You're like, get out of my way. I've got things to do, people to see and, um, you know, life to to consume, you know, and, and you're you just don't really have time for it. The other thing I want to say here is that you are in so much change that, yes, it could be triggering other people, but also things that aren't really working for you moving forward. Whatever changes you're making, there may be people, places, and circumstances that worked for you that actually helped you get to where you are right now, but where you're going, you won't be engaging as much. And so you are also probably looking at um, those things and saying, you know, if this is causing conflict, if my changes are causing conflict, I need to really renegotiate how I'm showing up and how much time I'm willing to give those people, places, and circumstances. Let's uh, clarify the tower here at the end of the month. We've got the king of fire. So you might be dealing with a fire sign. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody who is a part of creating this change. Now, the other way I'm going to read this is that you may be embodying the, um, the, I, the, persona, the archetype of King of Fire, which is someone who's very motivated, very ambitious. We have be a leader. And that is definitely the message here with the emperor is that you step into a leadership uh, position. I would not be surprised if somebody who's listening to this gets promoted to a leadership position and it triggers people, or maybe you get into your own head about it. Um, but you have an opportunity or you're going to be given an opportunity to really inspire others by stepping into your power, by getting yourself a little bit more organized and set up. Um, you're going to feel very motivated towards the end of the month. So I'm going to say that this tower card is a very good omen for you. The changes that are happening this month are, are productive. They are, um, they're, they're stuff, they're, they're things that just kind of bring you into, I know what it is. The changes that are happening this month are really allowing you to express your purpose and who you really are in a more authentic way. And so all the masks come off, people get to know who you are, you get to know who you are. Um, and it is just really aligning to helping you fulfill or feel fulfilled um, in so many ways to fulfill some sort of purpose that brings you happiness and joy. It's a beautiful month for you, um, Cancer. I'm really excited for you. So that is your month for December, 2022. If you'd like to know more about your sign, your birth chart, or schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, all of my information can be found in the description box below. Till I see you again, my friend, I'm sending you so much love, light, and everything right. Angel blessings.